for the foundation, I've mixed Farsali's Rose Gold Elixir with the Beauty's Four Filter in Vanilla. And what I like about it, it gives very good coverage, but at the same time, it allows my skin to shine through a little bit. Can you see? When you're using Huda solely, it looks very matte and dry. I like this combination because it really works well on my oily skin. So with some other foundations, when I mix the elixir, I feel it, my makeup starts to kind of be dissolved. But with this combination, I feel like it holds really well. So I really like using these two together to give this nice, can you see? Very nice, fun, kind of glowy finish. So, you know, right now we're all restricted to our homes. Uh, people are not being able to find, uh, obviously, you're not going to go ahead and find a lot of these products anywhere right now. If you guys don't have the exact same products, that's fine. Go ahead and use what you have at home and take the principle. So if I'm mixing, like say a face oil with the, and thinning out my foundation, you can do that with a liquid highlighter. You can do that with a face oil that you have. You get the same kind of effect. So you can use your products and still mimic what it is that I'm doing. So it doesn't have to be the exact products. All right. Now I'm just going going to fill in my brow right not light but like feathery brush up your brows Right? So then I'm just going to take some Nars Laguna and I'm going to just dust it very just in my contours to reduce this double chin. It has like a peachy tone to it. Also, I feel like the base of it is it's a, actually a brown kind of matte color, but it also has a peach in it. So it's already adding to the look I feel. Just lightly add some definition to my nose and again guys you can use whatever bronzer powder bronzer everybody has one powder bronzer at home you can use that doesn't have to be the same one just after i've done my nose contour around it i'm making sure i'm applying some of my huda beauty to kind of foundation and this is alone this is not the mix this is just by itself I'm just applying it the bridge of my nose and on the sides to kind of make my nose seem more defined now i'm going to take sephora's sweet on you blush it's like a peachy blush again whatever you guys have at home and i'm going to start by applying it the apple of my cheek because i'm gonna i want this to be a very nice blushy kind of look so smile make sure the apples of your cheeks come out that's where we're going to hit this i'm going to take a little bit and put it at the edge of my nose my nani used to do that just makes it's very pretty it almost looks like you have a slight cold i like that look with this so just on the tip of my nose now i'm going to take max uh, coral eyeshadow it's a matte eyeshadow again if you have any palette that has a coral peachy color, you can even mix, like if you have an orangey color, you can mix a little bit of, you know, matte white in there and make a peach, you know. I'm going to take some and I'm just going to start by applying it in my crease like that. For my socket, I'm going to take Max a Natural Flirt eyeshadow. Again, it looks like this. If you have something similar, go for something similar. It doesn't have to be the exact same shadow. It's like a pearly nudie color very similar to what the outfit that I'm wearing and I'm going to apply it in the center like that and a little bit on the brow bone and then the inner corners I'm going to take some max naked lunch now it's like a pale pink shimmery and I'm going to apply it in the waterline a lot of times people um, use a white pencil or a nude pencil. I think this looks nice with this look that I'm doing. Also, it doesn't look very obvious. It's a little more subtle. Sometimes the white pencil makes you look a bit like an alien. Um, it's too much. 
So I'm going to apply my liner before I do lashes. Today I'm going to do lashes, although you guys usually don't see me doing lashes, but there's no hard and fast rule. You do both, right? So I'm going to take the liner and really make sure I'm doing a line that's nice and thin. I don't want it to be a very uh, thick liner. Go ahead and curl my lash. Before I apply my fake lashes. So I'm really quick at applying these um, with everyone else, but because I apply it so seldom on myself, I'm not the best when I'm applying it on my own eye. Always make sure you let the glue dry because when it's a little tacky, then it's easier to apply as opposed to wet and then you can get it everywhere and it can be a mess so i mean i'm blowing on it because it's my i'm going to be applying it on my own eye but don't blow other people's lashes because you could potentially be contaminating it so i'm just going to quickly look up keep it chin up and you're applying it on your own and i'm going to start attaching it so i have my lashes on now and now i'm going to fix my liner Right, so I'm just gonna go back in close and reapply this shadow to the edge of the liner to make the liner more precise and also pump up the color. I'm just going to take some more of this shadow and just apply it right under my wing. The fun thing about lashes is that once you have them on, there's not much you need to do, I feel, with the rest of the eyes. So I'm not going to apply mascara at the top really, very, very, actually just on the tips maybe to separate them, but not really because they're already quite long. I'm going to take the mascara and put it at the bottom. Especially with the what we did inside the waterline. Use whatever tart shape tape is on my brush. I'm just taking it right lightly, not too much. Now I'm going to Cover my lip with that. Now I'm going to go back in with my tape shape concealer. I'm going to But now, once I've done that, I'm going to take Ilamasca's Obe. It's like this peachy color. And I'm going to start with a lip brush, applying it all over my lip. Lip lipstick is finished till you've really cleaned around the edges, at least. Eh? Just translucent powder all over my face to just seal because already by the end of the tutorial, my skin's getting oily, right? So, just gonna do that now. To finish the look, I'm gonna take some girl next door Fenty Beauty. Killer water highlighter. Apply it in the on the apple of my cheek because again, like I said, I want this look to be very doll-like. <laughs> 